You guys, it's here! Okay, um, well I should probably start off by saying hi. My name is Elise, um, welcome to my channel. If you have not been here for the past couple weeks, I am just going to give you the rundown on what's been happening. So, I had my 2015 um, MacBook Air and I was editing videos on this and it's just getting old, I feel like, and um, it just couldn't keep up with my pace and like I said, it was just dying and resurrecting itself whenever I wanted to and so I was like, whoa, I cannot keep up with you so I am in a rush to buy a new laptop. So therefore, that's when I bought the 2020 MacBook Air, which is right here. I still have it, and I knew that this laptop was not made for editing. Like, I knew that in the very beginning, but um, like we all know, this laptop is more affordable than the Pro. And so with that, I was like, you know, let me just see. Let me just test it out for myself. Is this laptop really that bad with editing? And yes, it really is that bad with editing. And I have explained my struggles and frustrations with that laptop in my other video, my one week update of the MacBook Air. And please don't get me wrong, like this laptop right here is a good laptop, but for the purpose of video editing or just very heavy um, editing, it is not good. And for the purpose of just like a basic use for school or work, surfing the web, browsing the web, um, watching YouTube, writing essays, papers, stuff like that, just like basic normal use, it's gonna be a great laptop. But if you're editing videos like me, I would definitely just go with the Pro. And so that's that, basically. I just thought that the MacBook Air could handle what I needed it for, and it couldn't. And in like the nicest and the most respectful way possible, just please do yourself a favor and do not, do not keep the MacBook Air if you are editing like just for the love of god just for the love of whoever you praise for the love of yourself just don't like i edited maybe three videos on it and it took me triple maybe even quadruple the amount of time that it would take me um to normally edit it and it's crazy because i think that the 2015 version was way faster than the 2021 which you would think with the new update and a new generation of a laptop and just new everything that it would work better but that laptop just you could not have more than seven tabs open and you could not edit at the same time and i could probably only cut like three clips maybe add one sound effect and two text titles and it would just freeze and all i could ever do was just force quit it and restart the application and that was so time consuming and so therefore that's when the triple quadruple amount of time it took to edit videos and by the second video i was like you know maybe this laptop is just struggling maybe it's just having a rough start with me it'll get better but no like that it was so wrong and any piece of technology i feel like it should perform its best in the very beginning and if it doesn't it's just not one that you should stress over. So for me, what I did was I bought this MacBook Pro. I am so freaking extremely excited to open it. You guys have no idea. And this not only was for me, but for you guys too, because with this laptop, I'll be able to um, post more videos, be more consistent, give you guys good quality content. With the Air, it took me so long to upload and there was one video that I think I uploaded at like 1 in the morning because I had been working on it from 10 a.m. all up until like 11 and then it took two hours to upload and so yeah and I told you guys that I'm just not a tech channel and I'm not like a tech person but you guys seem to really love my tips and customizing stuff and just the knowledge that I do have of laptops and Apple products and so I plan to keep making that content for you guys along with my vlogs and beauty and fashion stuff I'm actually super happy that my channel can be not just one genre or one um, topic I can do a whole bunch of things and I've gotten comments how you guys really like that so there we go I definitely plan to make a um another one week update on the macbook pro and a macbook pro and air comparison video and just some other stuff tech stuff and then also like you know my beauty vlog fashion stuff like i just said lifestyle things and so yeah let's just get right into opening this i am so 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 excited so here we have the pull tab oh i don't know if i'm ready okay i just want to say lord thank you so much i'm so appreciative and just 
Uh, yeah, so here is the full tab and I'm gonna open it. Last time I did this, it like ripped halfway through and I was like, just my luck, but hopefully this time it doesn't. Oh, okay, that's how we're doing it. to cry i'm just so happy i just feel like this laptop will just do me so well in the comments you guys are just saying like if it's within my means just get the laptop and do this this and that to it oh also this is the um 13 inch because i chose this over the 16 inch because i just love how like easily portable it is and this size is really good for me this is also in this space gray and um i think it's eight gigabytes of storage uh yeah there's all their stuff about it too i'll put it here because i can't remember off the top of my head but i'll put it here and then i'll also you know unbox it for you guys and let's see what it looks like Ooh, so pretty. okay so i have a table in front of me i'm just going to take the lid off and then i'll show you guys the inside okay the lid is off Here we go, here is my new MacBook Pro. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I thought I was excited to open the Air, but like this, I am extra appreciative and extra like happy for. I don't know, I can just tell like this is gonna do me good. And so here's a little pull tab here. Okay, so already I can tell it is heavier than the Air, which is expected, it's not the Air. And um, hopefully that means it's stronger to help me out. But um, yeah, so it is a little bit heavier. But before we get into that, we'll go through the stuff in here. But I'm like so excited to just open that laptop. So I'm gonna go through it quickly. So here, charging thing, you know. Um, some little instructions, I think, and stickers. Yep, that's that. And a charging block. I'm sure that's like not what you guys came for. So there you go, very quick and here we go so i'm gonna take off the plastic take it off slowly at least cherish this moment here we go guys here is my new macbook pro so let's turn it this way and last time I did this, I was not ready for it to talk to me. And so I'm just gonna, okay, I'm ready. touch bar that is what i'm actually most excited for okay and also if you guys could leave down below um any questions that you want me to answer in my one week update for this macbook pro that would be great and then um i'm just going to answer the questions like i said that i think you guys will ask so for the price it was one thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars on apple with the tax it was 149.90 and then total was one thousand six hundred forty eight dollars and ninety cents this laptop better do some magic and i know that can be very expensive to a lot of people like that is just not pocket change at least you know for the average person so if you want there are other options which you can buy refurbished which i would highly suggest you do on the actual apple website because they are the most accredible and they're selling their own um products and so i feel like with them if you have any problems you can definitely go to them afterwards if something is wrong so that's a very good option number two is i know that best buy right now as of today as of june 5th is today the fourth or fifth i'm filming this like at 2 a.m so let's just say the fifth but anyways they have a 200 dollars deal right now where you basically get 200 dollars off this product and so that is very big if you're just like on the cusp of saving up which i've seen a lot of comments like that you guys were like i'm saving up for a laptop i'm a quarter of the way there or almost there and i'm like so happy and excited for you guys like you guys see how happy and excited i am i want that same feeling for you too but what other options are there oh you can also get um a 
plan to pay it off. I think at Best Buy there's a plan that's like 18 months and you pay around like 60 to 90 dollars depending on which like version of upgrades you get. Um, that just for myself, just for how I am and how I budget my money and spend my money, I wouldn't make payments but some people if you really need it you have to do what you have to do so um, definitely if you want to do that go ahead that's an option so yeah those are my basically three options of what you could do if you can't afford it right now and just know that patience is just the key to life and I know it sucks if you can't afford it right now but you know I definitely think that with patience and with hard work you can definitely sit up for one and I'm rooting for you and then another question I think that you guys might have is the touch ID so for the touch ID it replaces the power button which is kind of confusing but with the touch ID I think you can basically add up to three fingers fingerprints per account or five fingerprints total and basically when you start the laptop you just click it and then um, when it's restarting you have to actually put in your password manually but then after that when you're like just logging off or sleeping it you can push your finger on the key and it just works super fast and I love that part about it and what else and I've heard so many cool things about this touch bar which is only for the MacBook Pros not the Airs unfortunately I've heard so many cool things about it I heard that I can put your laptop to sleep restart it change the volume settings brightness um, depending on where you are if you're like let's say in your mailbox it can just show like little things of like flagging a little um, piece of mail or deleting it archiving it trashing it, whatever um, I've also heard here in Safari it'll go to your favorite websites um, and it can put your laptop to sleep shut it off restart it go to your notification center do not disturb Siri um, go to the desktop or wallpaper I just heard so many cool things about it so I'm super excited to test that out but yeah those are like the few questions at the top of my head I can just think that you guys will probably ask um, I know there's probably plenty more and so please feel free to leave them in the comments I love reading your guys' comments especially if they're really nice and sweet ones and I love replying to you so please feel free go ahead comment down below and um, yeah I think that's it for this video you guys that is my unboxing thank you so much for watching if you guys want to see more tech videos along with my everyday vlogs fashion beauty lifestyle stuff please subscribe to my channel down below i'd appreciate that a lot and i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time